going uh, welcome to my youtube channel my name is t and then uh, this is tq let's write in date all right welcome welcome back um today we're going to do a review of um two phones one they came with um the samsung samsung j4 Pro, and then the other one will be uh, guess what this is a pro plus so this is the iphone 7 plus and then we are going to do a quick review of these two phones okay so i'm two i never had a clue i was glued all right uh looking at both these phones they are decent when both phones came out so uh let's just first talk about the uh, Samsung this came out in 2018 it was released in uh, November 2018 um, with um, the Android uh, 8.1 8.0 that's uh, Oreo as uh, well as the Apple iPhone is actually a much more older device than the G4 core because the Apple was released in 2016 uh, September so I'm gonna tell you this actually came like about two years later than this phone. But then if we put them together into comparisons, obviously this phone is gonna be better because this is a flagship phone while this is just a budget phone. Okay, and then let's talk about the, the features both phones have. So we are going to look at the build. The first one here, the Samsung J4 car, uh, it's just have all the plastic around it and then also plastic at the back and then you have the LCD screen here which is a little bit damaged yes uh, and then we talk about the the iPhone which has got aluminium all around at the back uh, the famous Apple logo over there and then you've got the aluminium as well on the sides okay and then in terms of um, the weight uh, actually this is more lighter it's 177 gram and then the apple iphone 7 plus weighs around 188 grams so um if you want to sacrifice more for, for heavier phones so this will be better but then it's worth it i'll tell you the reasons why you should choose this one instead of the samsung j4 core and then if you're new here please do um subscribe as well as hit the like button down there um so to continue let's look at the display um this is actually a 6.0 inches display it's got a 6.0 inches display pardon me and then you've got um 5.5 inch display but then if don't be deceived i know this is rather larger than this phone but then don't be deceived by that because if you want quality if you want to look at images you want to uh, browse uh, social media instagram whatsapp whatever then this is gonna be the right phone for you and then compared to this because this is just gonna be better in, in terms of content especially if you want to watch videos but then i don't think it's that um that's not really go hand in hand okay anyway um that's up to you it's your personal preferences so i can change that but then i would rather recommend to go for this um because it's just better and it also got more uh, density in terms of pixels because um, now that we are talking about pixels um, this only has got at least 274 ppi so which is less compared to the one that has got 401 ppi density and then the screen resolution as well it's got a 1080 by 1920 and this is just a 720 by 1480 so pixels so meaning that this is actually a better phone and then then this one it's some such as four car okay and then um in terms of operating systems okay this is actually android um i've been a fan of android ever since the first uh, android one came out i've been with them ever since then up until the day that we now have android 12. however um don't be deceived this came out with um it was quite decent by then it came out with android 8.0 that's oreo as well as the iphone came with can you believe it ios 10 up until today in 2022 iphone still supports this with ios 15.3 that's awesome that's just one thing that apple does very best 
and you cannot really take away that from Apple. They are really good at that. So maintaining their softwares, just making things valid, okay? Well, in Android, just gets less. I don't know, maybe Samsung and other Android um, operating systems out there or operating companies out there, they should just maybe look at Apple and try to, you know, come up with something decent. And I um, think in recent years now that Samsung is also trying to, you know, maintain the operating system. All right, uh, YouTubers, um, now let's look at the chipsets for both phones. Um, let's look at the because I'm in favor of Apple, obviously the iPhone. So this came up with Apple A10 like, Fusion, well as the J4. This came up with um, Snapdragon, uh, Qualcomm, that's Snapdragon 425. That's what the, this came out with uh, before it was actually released. And then we have uh, the CPU here in Apple, it's a quad core. Um, so 2.334 gigahertz compared to the quad core here in J4 that's just 1.4 gigahertz in this uh, Cortex A53 and then you also get the GPU which is only a dream of 308 compared to the um, Power VR Series 7 XT Plus that came out with um, iPhone 7 Plus so that translates to six core graphics so if you're a gamer i think uh, the I iphone 7 plus will be a better device for you now in terms of memory um this also came out with 32 gigabytes of internal storage uh, whereas this just came out with 16 gigabytes of internal storage however this is better this is where this is this phone because this got an external memory card slot so which means that even if it came with 16 storage, gigabytes you can still extend it by just inserting an sd card here so somewhere there you can just insert an sd card and then you can still extend your internal memory or your storage whatever whereas these the iphone apple iphone 7 plus just came without one so you are just you just need to be there with 32 gig or either 128 gigabytes or 256 gigabytes of internal storage however this is actually much faster because it's got a faster ram compared to the j4 because the j4 only has one gigabyte of ram that's too bad compared to the three gigabyte of ram okay now let's uh, talk about some of these awesome features of what makes the phone industry powerful nowadays is the camera okay this got two cameras the apple iphone 7 plus obviously is the winner here because it's got uh two our cameras here on the rear we've got a 12 megapixel camera which is a telephoto and you've got a 12 megapixel which is a wide uh camera at a wide angle for whatever that you want to shoot and also in terms of video wise we know apple is just very good at the video so um well you, you get a 4k at 30 fps or either at 60 and then you also get a 1080p at 30 fps or 60 fps so which is better compared to the uh, lost j4 car because it only has got a single 8 megapixel camera which is not in the game of Apple so uh, in terms of quality in terms of camera then please this is the killer device for you between these two phones okay however we're in 2022 so I believe there are better phones that are made that are better than both these phones in terms of camera so we talk about the iPhone 13 Pro Max we talk about the recent Samsung s22 ultra that just came out and then yeah if you want some of those high-end phones you got to pay the price for that okay so yeah if you're ready to sacrifice enough money to buy you can go for that but then at least these phones are still decent they are there for a reason so and then in terms of um features this got at least you know that button right there yes the home button that still serve as a fingerprint and then with the j4 i don't know what i was samsung thinking 
Okay, we understand it's a budget phone, so it can't have anything that neither does this phone have a fixed fingerprint sensor anywhere because it's just a phone that you buy. However, uh, the features here is just that um, the selfie camera does come along with an LED flash. So you've got both LED here at the rear and then you have an LED flash on top as well. So in front, it's actually decent. If you, I don't know if nowadays people are still taking selfies at night time and they need LED, I'm not sure. Okay, but then with Apple, only have that. And as a matter of fact, this is 7 megapixel, the front camera there, which is still decent for videos as well. It can go up to 1080p in terms of video, so uh, you are safe. Uh, so it's, it's a better device compared to the uh, 5 megapixel that you get here without any... I don't think the video is awesome here. I don't recommend that you use this. Nobody uses this um, front-facing camera anymore for budget phones. Because these budget smartphones are just there um, to kind of, you know, meet you halfway through some of the requirements that you need, like the basic needs for a phone. Okay, but then once uh, for Apple, they have pretty pretty decent um, uh, features they have in there. So and then in terms of, um, like I said, they still have the face detection, which is there, which is better compared to this, which doesn't even know anything. So you are just there. And then one thing about this phone that makes it unique is that because it's got the 3.5 millimeter jack whereas in iphone the only iphone that had a 3.5 millimeter jack was the iphone 6 generation there's the only one that had the 3.5 millimeter and then now nowadays you don't need that anymore because obviously we have um, airports now we have earbuds we've got a lot of things bluetooth uh ear sets so we don't need 3.5 millimeter jack because bluetooth is in here i can go in the store buy something that's got bluetooth uh, you know connectivity and then i can just play it and plug it and then start playing listening to my favorite music okay and then uh now we've come to the final uh, let's talk about the battery. The battery, obviously, this is also gonna be a better one. The Samsung J4 actually got uh, a Lion battery, which is uh, 3,300 mAh, so which is better, decent, and then compared to the um, I, Apple, they only managed to pack at least um, 2,900 mAh. So, which I understand because this came out in 20. 16 so yeah and then let's talk about the final credit price okay both these phones um the apple you can still get it at about um 320 euros compared to the j4 because this is a budget phone like i said so this you can still get it around uh, 150 euros however if you are in namibia uh, these prices might actually vary depending on you know who is selling this phone to you okay and then these phones are just normal there in the market because i think ever since the a series came through the j series is not making any waves okay but then the apple is still out there the apple iphone 7 so i think if i have to compare the two which one would you actually pick well, I think the iPhone 7 is the better phone between these two, okay? Uh, not just because um, it's an Apple device, but because the features that it, is, it packs with, okay? The features it comes with is just a better thing. Because you still have got a decent camera, and you still have got a decent pixels here, and then the battery, the chipset in here, and again, one of the best one is the ios that you get here the software okay however i think this phone only managed to get the last update which is ios 15.3 then oh, we are going to say goodbye to these phones because they're not going to be you know supported anymore they're not going to get any of latest software update anymore and that's so sad uh, so yeah um, come on 2016 and this is 2022 that's insane and i should say apple keep this up it's really a good thing and all of us we love apple for software support system and then you know 
the one thing about Apple is that when you come from a different device and then you go to another device, you won't really feel left out because you know basically all the features, you know, is just there, there where the icon appears, the icons appears here, you know, it's just the same, it's kind of the same. This, there are no changes here. You are used to the same environment, the ecosystem is just the same. And but then it's not the same with the Android guys. Because uh, you know, when you're coming from a phone like this, you're going to struggle with Android 12, more especially if you're coming from an Android 8.0 like this in here, and then you go to Android 12, you are going to struggle. I just don't know. Okay, maybe uh, yeah, Apple is just very really smart. Otherwise, if you get to the end of the video, please don't forget to like, subscribe to this video. Thank you so much, and otherwise. Yes. I started with an ink